Worldwide Jets, Worldwide Mets. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach issue. She was able to get y'all to see something and understand something that nobody could get you to see. It's time to set it off. So Kim K catches a stray during Tom Brady Roast last night. It was live on Netflix, uh, the Tom Brady Roast. It's an annual uh, part of next Netflix is a joke and uh, it takes place in LA and the roast was hosted by my guy Kevin Hart um, even though it was a Tom Brady roast Kim K got roasted a couple times Tom Brady hit her with a drive by Kim Kardashian thank you so much for being here I know Kim was terrified to be here tonight not because of this but because her kids are home with their dad Jesus. Yeah, I think that was clowned out, honestly. Um, uh, Tom Brady actually said that. That was crazy. And then when she went to the podium to give her joke, she was roasted, but, but not by another comedian. Thank you so much, Kevin. Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> Can't edit that out of live television. Mm. Nope. <laughs> All right, Kevin. I know a lot of people make fun of your height, but what people don't know is you're also pretty mean, which makes you the smallest black I've ever seen. Mm. She said the N word? No, no, smallest black penis. D. So penis, oh, but she said oh, the B oh, word. Oh, 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 like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's funny as hell when you get in booed. Getting mm-hmm. booed, you just yell out that N word. That'll change the temperature in the room. <laughs> Yo, the crowd what? booed her so bad just for even getting on stage. She don't care though. You think yeah. Kim K cares at this point? She knows she the villain. She knows she the bad guy. I know, a but bad that was, gal. Mm-hmm. That's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, Diddy also caught a stray by Andrew Schultz, your homeboy. Oh, I yeah. he was the man there. in the arena, the goat. Uh, Tom, I know Bill Belichick showed up late, uh, but don't worry. I'm sure he has someone secretly recording this so we can watch the whole thing later okay <laughs> bill is uh, secretly filmed more guys playing for the other team than diddy uh, hilarious that's your boy kev <laughs> a lot of tight ends turn wide receivers if you know what i mean <laughs> Jesus, oh, drop on a clues bomb for andrew show damn it he did a sold out show this weekend right he did two sold out shows at, at Madison LA. Square Garden this weekend. Oh, man. Yeah, salute to him. Yeah, I, I, went to, I went to the Friday night show. He nice. bought out uh, 50 Diddy. Cent at the end. Mm-hmm. I guess nice. 50 Cent really appreciated those Diddy jokes. I bet. <laughs> 50 I the whole bet. junior, too. Yeah, yo, Uncle yep, Murder, yep, all of yep, them yep. came out. Yep. That's what's up. Jalen Green will have two kids this year. So, you know, people had mixed feelings when Dre announced that she was pregnant. She got twins? By Jalen Green. <laughs> no, but uh, she announced that in March. All right, now, so we know, blow back story, Dre, uh, Dre is 39, Jalen is 22. Now it's a new circulating, like a new situation. He also welcomed a baby girl named Peace on February 12th of this year. The mother of that child is a 23-year-old woman from California named Maya. Um, apparently, Jalen knew about Maya for a while, but they were never serious. They were never in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, Jalen reportedly plans to be very involved in his daughter's life um, and be there financially. And sources say that Dre is very well aware about the other baby, but has never spoken to Maya. And they also shared that Maya isn't concerned about Dre or what Jalen does in his personal life as long as he takes care of his child with her. So it just sounds like two women like securing that bag. What's up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Please, it don't matter. So uh, as long as the babies are taken care of at the end of the day, I guess that's fine. Okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then um, Meg the Stallion fans react to ticket prices. So social media um, users have been debating each other that after it was revealed that tickets were being sold as low as $24 for Megan Thee Stallion tour. Um, some people were trying to clown her, uh, even like her fans, saying that her ticket prices are so low that no one cares to see her perform and that she's desperate to sell tickets. Other people are arguing like, yo, y'all should be grateful that a major artist like Megan, y'all are able to see for $24. That's right. With everybody on tour right now, like Chris Brown and then Nikki and then all, like all these people with these high price tours and then Beyonce about to go on tour again. Mm-hmm. I can appreciate a twenty four dollar ticket. Is her I, tour selling? Who um, Megan? I don't, Megan, uh, it's scheduled to start next week in Minneapolis. I don't, mm. I don't know whether it's selling or not. Um, but if the tickets are that low, take advantage of it. I would. I mean, mm-hmm. I is she know. doing arenas? 
I don't know what, what is she doing. Sure. I don't I'm know if it's sure. arenas. Oh. Yeah, we gotta look that up. I'm not sure, but I if mean, she's doing arenas. She shouldn't be doing arenas. If she is, if she, she is, she shouldn't be. Why you say that? Because she's not an arena artist. Mm-hmm. I, I salute to Megan Thee Stallion, but mm-hmm. she's not an, an arena artist. Okay, you know, maybe a theater artist. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, yeah. Arenas? No, not ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Arenas is a city lot. to city yeah, is a lot. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are saying since since she's a Grammy winner, she should be able to sell out. Or at least fill up a eighty five percent capacity um, venue. So I don't believe that. Yeah, because when you think of arenas, right? You think of people that have a lot of a long mm-hmm. catalog, catalog, right? Mm-hmm. Like you think of Nicki Minaj. Yeah. You think mm-hmm. of uh, who else? Chris uh, Brown. Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. That are on tour. Yeah. Busta yeah. Rhymes. Usher. Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. Usher. Like some, and these are people that are on tour um, mm-hmm. this year. That's why I'm just yep. naming them. But yeah, so. And, and by the way, people, even the Busta Rhymes of the world, they're not on tour by themselves. No, it's Busta and Missy. Yeah. Yep, and Sierra. <laughs> That's and what Sierra. I'm saying. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. Who Megan out there with? Yeah, I Glow. just see Glow. her right Glow. 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 Okay, Megan and Glow. Mm-hmm. Even in arena? You don't, you don't nah, see both don't of them in the arena? I can't okay. see that. I got you. Not right now, Not right anyway. now. Mm-mm. All right, well, that's just with the mess for the first hour. Well, the second hour, sorry. Thank you. All right, mm-hmm. now we got our donkey today coming up? Yes. Four after the hour. That's, that's what you got? No, four after the hour, there's a young man named Terry Jennings. Uh, he is a prime example of why if you're in Florida, if you mind yours, people will mind theirs. We'll discuss. Mm. Oh, and I think it is a, a arena tour. Oh, that ain't good. It Not is? Tuesday, May 21st at Madison Square Garden. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. You be, she be selling them for $14. Yo, shut up, man. Oh, Don't my get days God. up next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.